All right, you got a beautiful arena here, about $300 million worth, and AEG contributed, I don't know, over $50 million, whatever it was. And, and I think going back to the message at that time was that, you know, if we build this, we're going to get a professional franchise. That has not happened. Where does that stand? Or do you regret that? I know it's very successful here, the way it is right now with concerts and everything else. But the message was we're going to get a team. We talk about it all the time, and including the mayor, who's fantastic, one of my favorite guys. And, and we, we go back and forth on should we really put our time and effort into a team. So about three weeks ago, I came here for a private dinner with the, the business leaders. And we sat at dinner and discussed, do we go take another effort and, and try to get an anchor tenant? The thing that's unique about this building is it's doing so well without it right now. Between the basketball, in particular the college basketball, and having the opportunity to bring KU here two or three times a year. Between the, the diversity of the music events, the diversity of the sports events. The problem is if we brought an anchor tenant here, you'd take 40 nights out. So instead of last night and the Miami Heat playing here, or Taylor Swift playing two or three nights at Sprint Center, We'd, we'd probably lose a lot of that. And, and what everyone in the business community believes is the diversity of those events is far more appealing than trying to go compete with the Royals and the Chiefs and, and the, the soccer team at trying to pull more money out of season tickets. So if there's a team that, that is moving, we're engaged. We actually have a pretty good group of people here that are interested in buying a team, probably hockey more than basketball because it's a great college basketball marketplace. That said, I, I think the brilliance of Sprint Center is, I think the business community and the community as a whole loves the diversity of the 140 events a year that we're doing here. We're making more money than anyone ever thought we'd make. We're giving a lot of money back to the city. And whether it be the mayor or the business community, what everyone's saying now is, you know what? Stay the course. This is pretty good what's going on here. You're making the money, but you're not satisfying the appetite of the sports fan. I'm not that sure there's an appetite. Here, here's the debate. Is there that much of an appetite? You know, if you look at the NBA, I'm not sure a team ultimately could survive having to charge the kind of ticket prices Tim, they charge. We had 16,000 in the Sprint Center yeah, to watch well, NBA that's true. last night. But it's we a had 20,000 across town to watch soccer. Yeah, it's this a great a sports Wednesday marketplace. Night. But I got to tell you, even I've been converted. When we first built this, we were dedicated to trying to get an anchor tenant. Now I'm looking at it going, be careful. Because if we bring an anchor tenant here and it doesn't do well, it'll kill this building. It'll kill the downtown renaissance that's been created here. So be careful. I still think a team's coming. But I think it's going to be, one, there's only one team that's moved since we opened this building. So Seattle moved to Oklahoma because the Oklahoma group went and bought them. There's a good group here. They want to do it. But I think it's going to take some time. And I think it's a good thing, Kansas City, be patient. Here, here's our big thing. If this is about a boatload of money, if this is about backing the truck up and dumping money into the lap of an owner or a team, the thing I love about the success that Sprint Center's had is Kansas City, from the mayor on down, says, we're not doing that. We're not sitting here giving them a blank check. We don't need it. Our city and the definition of who we are is created every day without feeling like we have to go sell our soul and our checkbook to get an anchor tenant. That's a cool thing.